On a brisk, early autumn evening, I decided to revisit a beautiful park hidden away in the outskirts of suburban central Ohio, Shale Hollow Park. With beautiful streams and wildflowers, this place, one of the preservation parks of Delaware County, is a natural sanctuary amid its developed surroundings. So this park is only a few miles from Alum Creek State Park, which is a place where a lot of people go to go boating and camping with RVs. And it's a really cool place, especially in the summertime, because there's a beach there. But at the same time, if you get out in the woods over there, you find a lot of like invasive species, like honeysuckles, you'll find litter sometimes. And so this is kind of a breath of fresh air for me, because there's just all these native species everywhere. There's a big healthy forest full of like oaks, maples, and it's just nice and quiet and clean. In fact, there's a good amount of native species just in this area. So for example, right here, we've got some milkweed growing, and you can see the really distinctive pods, which all the seeds will come out of. Down here, we've got some Solidago canadensis, or a common goldenrod. You see this a lot, and it starts flowering with these really beautiful yellow flowers this time of the season. And I mean, right here, we've got sycamore. I'm seeing some dogwoods growing nearby. Just a really beautiful area. But once you get off of the road, you can find the real treasures of this park. For that, I was headed onto the trail, to a specific area here. Mushrooms grew from the damp soil, and gentle streams meandered through the forest floor. I hiked into the dark and cool forest, taking in the fresh air around me, and then stopped to admire the flowing creek. It was striking how clear and calm the water was as it trickled across the stream bed. Though these streams seem small and insignificant, they're part of something much larger. So we've had a lot of rain recently, and because of that, if you look around, there's mushrooms everywhere. Um, in fact, this pine tree right next to me has some sweetless mushrooms growing in the litter. And all that rain feeds into the streams that run through this park. And those streams eventually feed into the Olentangy River, which is a big landmark in the city of Columbus. And that, of course, eventually goes to the Ohio, which feeds into the Miami and into the Atlantic Ocean. And it's cool to think about how just rain that collects in these little divots in the ground, in these tiny little streams, eventually feeds all the way to the ocean. Like, everything is really connected, and you really get a sense of that as you're walking around here. But the other thing about the streams is that the erosion from them causes some of the most distinct characteristics of this park, which are the 20 to 40 foot shale walls, or bluffs, that just sort of surround this whole area here. And it's really beautiful. It's, it's shale that's really thin and brittle, and it kind of breaks into little pieces. In fact, they had a sign describing it as potato chip shale. As you look at this cliff over here, you see how all these layers of shale are just stacked up, like almost compressed leaves almost, and they create this big, mighty wall but it's the erosion from the river that bashes into the side of this wall and erodes it so sheerly on one side while creating this more gradual landscape on the other side. Central Ohio is often thought of as a flat, unexciting area. But in reality, there are a lot of fascinating things in this region. The local geology is surprisingly intriguing for such an unassuming part of the world. And for a better look at that geology, I decided to follow the path leading to the stream bed. So it's this shale on the ground and in the cliffs to my right that give this park its name, Shale Hollow. And this is Ohio shale, a sort of brittle shale that makes all these little hills in an otherwise relatively flat place. And again, it's the stream erosion that causes these sheer cuts out on the cliff that make this place so distinct. And when you're walking around, you'll find pieces that are just like unreal, like they just have such sharp, straight edges. They almost look like very geometric and man-made. And it's so interesting to me to see how the rocks fracture in such perfect straight lines. But almost more interesting than that is probably something right behind us over there. Let's go check it out. So at first glance, this perfectly round object might look something like an abandoned World War II bombshell or something like that. But this is actually made naturally. So this is what's called a concretion. 
It's kind of like a geode, but when you crack it inside, instead of crystals, there are fossils inside. Scientists aren't exactly sure how these form, but the main theory is that in prehistoric times, when Ohio was covered by an ocean, a sea creature like a fish would die, its body would drop to the bottom of the ocean floor, and eventually, you know, little waves and currents would tumble it around in the ground until it accumulated sediment in sort of a spherical shape. And as more and more sediment settled as the oceans went away and land took over, uh, this sort of sandstone sphere was formed. But yeah, if you were to crack some of these open, you'd find something inside most likely. Sometimes you don't really find that much, but oftentimes you do find a fossil. And as you're looking at the shale walls, you'll actually see some that are embedded in the wall. And it's so interesting seeing like the different layers and thinking about how at different times an animal's body formed into this concretion. And also just looking down the creek, you'll find some shattered pieces lying in the water too. So even though it's a small park, this is a park that I have a lot of fond memories with. Just because there's so much natural flora and like so many cool things to find, really cool geological formations. And it's interesting to think that this is just like such a tiny, not very well known park just outside of Columbus. And you sort of wonder like how many places like this exist in the rest of the world. Everywhere I go, there's always some random small town that nobody's heard of and they have their own sort of park. And you go to the park and there's these amazing rock formations hidden in the woods. But it's just everywhere you go, there's something cool to find. And I don't know, it's just interesting to think about how there's so much treasure hidden in all these different places around the world. And there's probably so much of it to uncover. Like not just in the US, but all around the world. I mean, who knows what sort of amazing trees or rocks or whatever else there are to find. Imagine just how many fascinating places there are hidden away the world over. Even the humblest places have unique landscapes and landmarks. It's a good reminder to not judge a place until you've made an effort to experience it on a deeper level. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and join our Patreon community to support our videos and get cool rewards. Today's featured Patreon photo is from the Adirondacks, taken by Ryan Reel.